port forwarding and getting your server public guys welcome to part two of how to make a pocket mine server let's get right into it So yo yo what's going on there lads and lasses so welcome back to another video now in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to port forward now if you followed up with the previous tutorial you guys basically set up your server and you're at this part right here you have your server running it's running on your local network but now you want to make it public and share it out with everybody that you know and it's really easy so I'm going to get right into it but before we do that I want to tell you this important note and do not skip over this part because this is important we are working with your IP so do not ever share that or give that out anywhere so do not give out your IP I will actually be showing you a way closer to the end where you can get a custom IP for your server so you don't need to hand out your public IP to anyone so do not give out your IPv4 IPv6 or your public IP to anybody that's why most of this video you'll see blurs throughout first things first go to your server terminal type in stop right here hit enter and it stopped the server now you just want to hit the Windows key type in CMD right click and click on run as administrator and then from here you want to type in IP config exactly like this and hit enter. Now once you're here it should show you all these. The specific information we are going to be focused on is your IPv4 address. So here is my IPv4 address although it is blurred out for you guys. So make sure you guys note yours down somewhere. So write it down on a piece of paper because you are going to be needing this IPv4 address later when we're port forwarding. So once you have your IPv4 address you can exit out of this right here and now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to open up your web browser. Now this is where we get to the port forwarding stuff but before we do that I would like to mention a couple things in the description that will help you guys out with port forwarding. Now I'm going to be doing a general way, chances are you won't have the same router as me, you'll have a different branded router and there will be a different process. There will be two links in the video description. So the first link will show you how to log into your router, which you are going to need to do. And that link will show you how to log into every router generally. And then the second link will be if this video was a little bit confusing for you guys, then there's a different port forwarding tutorial made by The Breakdown, which I think is really good for port forwarding if you guys are still confused. First things first, you need to go to your router login so I looked at the sticker on the back of my router and the router login page is router login dot net it'll redirect me to the login page and once I've logged in this is my routers home page so once you have hit the advanced tab hit advanced setup and there should be a setting called port forwarding slash port triggering click on that right there and then once you have done this make sure port forwarding is checked and what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to add a custom service now for you guys it might just say add port forward or something like that but we're gonna add a service name I'm gonna call this pocket mine and for the protocol make sure it's set to TCP slash UDP for the external and internal ports make sure you put 19132 and then from there uh, specify that IP address so that IPv4 that you just copied you are going to type out over here and then I'll hit apply and then from there it should add the service to your list right here and then once you've done that you've completed the port forward now what you need to do is you need to open up a new tab type in what is my IP and then when you type in what is my IP it'll give you your public IP address copy this or write it down somewhere because from here what you are going to need to do is you're gonna need to go to this website called no IP okay guys so now after you've created your no IP account and you basically from here you want to go to dynamic DNS you want to click on create host and then from here we're gonna call this whatever our server name is gonna be I'll just call this uh, pocket mine example and then from there we'll choose our domain and then right here your IPv4 address this is gonna be that public IP that I had you guys copy just a second ago paste that into here and click on create host name okay and once you've done that this is going to be the server address you're gonna to give to people to join into your server and then from here let's add this server before I end off the video just copy this or share this with anybody just make sure you send them this exact IP mine is out of here open up pocket mine and then right here hit start which is this Windows command again and as you can see the server is starting and it is public now on a different PC and then open up Minecraft okay so from here I have Minecraft open 
For you and anybody on your local network, you can actually click on friends and you can actually view your PocketMind server right here. But for anybody else who is not on your local network, what they're going to need to do is they're going to need to click on add server. Uh, we'll call this Pocket Mine example you're gonna to need to copy that server ip that no ip gave you so here is mine and make sure you put that in the server address keep the port the same and hit save and then hit play on this server right here and that's basically it so yeah guys if this video is helpful you know what to do hit that like button if it was amazing and you want to watch some more server content hit that subscribe button and if you guys have any questions leave it down in the comment section below and I will have all the links and anything like that if you guys get stuck down in the description. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it for me. I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye, guys.